I was sobbing. Today we're going to be sharing our embarrassing holiday stories. I almost blocked this out, but it was just so gross and awful. My story begins in high school when I had one of my only house parties. The kind of one where your mum's upstairs making sure everything's PG. I've basically been dumped three times over the holidays and two of those times were on Christmas Day. My family was in town for the holidays. It was a frigid night. Me and all my cousins were jumping on this giant trampoline we had. The first thing that went wrong was that my friend drove into my mum's garage door and like completely dented it, which we didn't really talk about until the end of the night because we wanted to enjoy the party. But then also there was a boy I really liked. I don't know why, but we ended up in the garage, you know, as you do. Um, I was a lot younger and probably didn't know what the hell to do with boys. The first time was like one of my first ever boyfriends and I thought that we were gonna like, you know, have a lovely relationship. And we just started dating and and he broke up with me, like really close to Christmas. And I was really sad. And so I just listened to like pop music from this Irish band. I don't know if I wanted to be cool or graceful or what, but I just had this idea to jump off of the trampoline and stick the landing. And I thought my cousins would think that was cool because it's like a superhero or something. I slipped and hit my toe and it turned out I slipped on dog poop. I was <laughs> sobbing. Humbled, sad, a little angry at myself for being dumb and thinking that that would work. Second time um, was on Christmas day and I had bought him a gift and I was like, can't wait to talk to him on Christmas day. And he finally calls me and you know, we chat for like five minutes and he seems really odd. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And then he finally is like, I didn't want to do this on Christmas day, but you insisted on talking to me. And I was like, cause you're my boyfriend. And then he was like, I'm sorry, but I can't do this with you anymore. We're not going to be together anymore. You know when you're trying to impress a crush and you think the most random thing you do will be attractive for some reason? I'm like, let's go sit on top of the car and make out. So we sat on the roof of the car and um, it was great. Had a little make out session. And then uh, the next morning, my mum asked why the roof of her car was dented. <laughs> you know, I'd also deflowered her car. My mum also found out about the garage door being dented and it's, I think it's still dented to this day. And then the third one was a long distance boyfriend when I was in England and he was living in America and he emailed me on Christmas Eve, but I didn't read it until Christmas day. And he's like, I can't do this anymore. We're breaking up. And that is my super embarrassing holiday story. Enjoy your family and don't get crazy. One word of advice for me would be make out somewhere normal not on top of your parents' car. I learned not to talk to anyone on Christmas day and wait till the next day, otherwise just gonna be dumped on Christmas day. So if someone's gonna dump me, they're gonna dump me on the next day now because I won't speak to them on Christmas day.